Yeah, in engineering, people put big margins of safety into systems, uh, atomic power plants being the extreme example. And in the financial world, in derivatives, it's as though nobody gave a damn about safety. And, and they just let it balloon and balloon and balloon in, in usage and number of, of trades and size of trades. And, uh, and that ballooning is aided by this false accounting where people are pretending to make money they're not really making. I regard that as very dangerous. And, uh, and I'm more negative than Warren in the sense that I'll be amazed if, if I live another five or ten years if we don't have some significant blow up. They've been advertised, and sometimes by some, in a fairly prominent way, they've been advertised as shedding risk for participants in the system uh, and, and reducing risk for the system. And I, I would say that I think they have long crossed the point where they decrease risk to the system and now they enhance risk because you've, uh, the truth is the Coca-Cola company can bear the foreign exchange risks that they run or the interest rate risks that they run and all of that sort of thing. But when the Coca-Cola company starts laying those off and every other company in the world, major company does with just a relatively few players, you have now intensified the risks that in exist in the system. Uh, you have not, you have not shed risk at all. You have transferred it, and you have transferred it to very few players, and those players have huge interdependencies with each other, and to some extent, central banks and all of those uh, and similar institutions are uh, uh, are vulnerable uh, to the weaknesses of those institutions. When Charlie and I were at Solomon, you know, they hated it if we brought up and so therefore we didn't do it, that we were too big to fail. But the truth was that if Solomon failed at that time, uh, the problems for the rest of the system could well have been significant. They might have been, uh, who knows exactly what they would have been, but they, they could have been quite significant. And uh, when you start concentrating risks in institutions which are highly leveraged and who intersect with a few other institutions like that, all bearing same risks, all having the same motivations in the trading departments to take on more and more esoteric things because they can book more and more immediate profits. You are courting danger, and um, that's why I wrote about it this time. And I, it's not a prediction, it's a warning. And uh, 